In this question, I am asked to find all eigenvalues and associated eigenvectors for this given matrix. And if an eigenvalue has a algebraic multiplicity greater than 1, I also want to identify its geometric multiplicity. So to find the eigenvalues, I want to take the determinant of this given matrix minus lambda times the identity matrix. So basically, I'm going to subtract the lambda along the main diagonal and take the determinant, set it equal to 0, solve for lambda. And to find the determinant of this, I just want to multiply along the main diagonal and then subtract the product of the other diagonal. So, one minus lambda times negative three minus lambda minus 12. And I'm gonna go ahead and multiply out. So I have Lambda squared plus 2 lambda minus 15 equals 0. And I can factor this into lambda plus 5 and lambda minus 3. So that gives me my two eigenvalues of 3 and negative 5. So let's go ahead and find the eigenvector associated with lambda equals 3. So now I just want to subtract 3 along the main diagonal and find the solution to the matrix. So I have 1 minus 3, so negative 2. And negative 3 minus 3, which gives me negative 6. And I'm going to reduce the top row by a factor of negative 2 to get 1, negative 3. In the bottom row, I'm just going to divide everything by 2. And then, obviously, the two rows are the same, so I'm going to subtract the first row from the second. It leaves me 1, negative 3, 0, 0. Since the bottom row is all zeros, I know that my x2 is going to be a free variable. I'm going to call it t. And that leaves x1 minus 3t equals 0, x1 equals 3t. And I can write that in vector form as the vector 3, 1 times t. So that means that the eigenvector for lambda 1 equals 3 is that vector right here, 3, 1. Now let's find the vector for lambda 2, which is negative 5. So again, I just want to, this time I want to add 5 along the main diagonal, subtracting a negative 5. So I have 1 plus 5 gives me 6. And negative 3 plus 5 gives me 2. Now I'm going to reduce the top row by 6, divide by 6 to get 1, 1. In the bottom row, divide by 2. Again, these rows are equal. Subtract the first row from the second. And I'm looking at a free variable for x2. I'm going to call it t. That means x1 plus t equals 0, x1 equals negative t. I'm going to write this in vector form as the vector negative 1, 1. times t, which means that v2, the eigenvector for lambda 2, is just negative 1, 1. So together, those up make up my eigenvalues and associated eigenvectors for that given matrix.